left you off, we're finishing up this tail panel. We have the exhaust bezel. Now I'm going to try my hand at exhaust. So I have these upside down turbo forward headers that are now going backwards. And we need to fill the distance and make it go to there. So to start with that, I got a box. And inside the box, we got some pipes. This is a three inch stainless steel exhaust builder's kit from Amazon, it's $149. It is slip fit, but I'm gonna wind up taking around them or just cutting off the joint completely. So we have a next pipe, so I'm gonna to try to fit in here. Space might be the issue. I got two U joints and these other bends that are down there, which I have more of. So now I'm going to get to playing with this thing to see how I might want to start setting up the exhaust. And we'll go from there. Alright, after playing around with some options, this is kind of how I'm going to include the X-pipe. So those U-joints you see I'm going to have to cut off here. Put on another 90 and I want it to turn so I can put my, both of my mufflers to come straight here. I think I have 17 inches between these two points and the muffler I'm looking at is 14 inches. So, but if I add a turn here, do the same cut, add a 90, and add my muffler here, and they'll both meet in the center, and we'll exit there. On the other side, we're gonna start working on those because we need to join that together. I need flex fittings, and it also has to come up from the headers because it interferes with transmission mounts. So that's going to probably involve some pie cuts. It's a different look from it. I was hoping it would make the complete turn. But when I line them up, we're going to need to make a pie cut. Alright, this is what we're working towards. Okay, so I'm almost ready to start welding. 
And what this is, the first part I'm going to start welding is what comes off the header pipe. So this is one half of the V-band clamp. So that'll be for the driver's side. The other half of the V-band clamp, that's for the passenger side. I'm going to top that off with the flex joint. Both sides. And then this 45. And the second 45 has to get clocked at a different angle to come up and go around the transmission mount. So I'm going to tack that on once I get it into the car. But for the bench, I'm going to tack these here just because it'd be a lot easier. Um, before I do that, uh, since I'm not using a argon purge, I'm going to use this. This is solar flux. This is a powder that you mix with alcohol. The, the thing is, you mix it with alcohol, it turns into basic paint. You paint it on the surface on the inside to shield your metal and the alcohol will dissipate and you're left with nothing but the hard surface. So we'll see how this works out. I'm trying to save a buck. I'm having it's coming up a little bit higher than my exhaust bezel. The other thing is I can't buy a radius enough to meet that sharp turn. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to line up with pie cuts. Um, this one's going to go in here. Center pie cuts nine degrees on either side, meeting a nine degree on that side. And then the final one. So the other issue is these are going to interfere. I'm going to come back in and slice out the interference area and we're going to replicate this bevel on this one and then we're going to cap off the center with some actual flat stainless. Alright, I got both the pie cuts made and 
how you're going to see the issue where they interfere. Is they're going to intersect. And the next thing we're going to do is clearance this one. So this one fits, and then we're going to clear this one so it's all open, and then we're going to come back around and weld them all the, all the way through. All right, so I mentioned I had to clearance them so the two can combine each other. And that's how that's going to go. And fit this one in here. Fit the second one. So at this point, I don't want to weld it all together on the exhaust. So I'm going to come around, I'm going to do all the seams all the way around, put it in the exhaust system, and then come through here and do this. And then I'm going to make the cover piece that goes into the bezel next. headers again. These were the turbo forwards but we're using them in the reverse fashion. Um, they did not come with an O2 sensor bung so I've had them on the car. I marked off both sides where I'm going to drill the hole. I center punched it. We're going to drill it out and then we're going to TIG weld these bungs in and that will get us one step closer to having some exhaust on this thing. the exhaust it is in it is supported under its own weight now there's the hangers right there the O2's bungs are installed I finally have a place to put those flex joints X pipe just fits underneath it there that's it can't wait to hear it sound though.